Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to make a deliciously tasty treat called birthday party mug cake. So this is a really, really easy recipe. It's like baking a cake, but simplified in a mug. So it's just for you. So you don't have to make a whole cake for just you to eat. And it uses just a little bit of each ingredient. So I'm gonna go through the ingredients with you. So here's what you'll need. You will need butter, one egg, sugar, milk, flour, baking powder, vanilla extract, and sprinkles. You're also going to need a few tools to help you do this. So you're gonna need a fork, you're going to need some measuring cups, you're going to need a mug, because it's mug cake. So I have my frozen Anna mug. And then I like to have a little separate bowl because we're going to have to separate the egg. So I like to have a little separate bowl for that. And you're not even going to need the oven. You're only going to need the microwave. So let's go over again, the ingredients that you're gonna need and the tools that you're gonna need, okay? So once again, you're going to need butter, flour, an egg yolk, sugar, milk, vanilla, baking powder, sprinkles. And for tools, you're gonna to need a fork, a mug, microwave, and I added measuring cups. So I'm gonna post this recipe on Google Classrooms for you to see so that you can look and see the exact measurements that you need for each ingredient. But as I add them, I will tell them to you also. So we're ready to get started. Step one is we're gonna put the butter in the mug and put the mug in the microwave for 30 seconds. So let's do that. So for butter, we're going to need two tablespoons so the cool thing about sticks of butter is that they actually have written on them how many tablespoons each piece is. So where each line is, is one tablespoon. So we're going to need two. So we need this square and this square. So I'm gonna cut with my knife right on that line. So let's see, two tablespoons. Here we go. So we're gonna take just this little square. And we're gonna stick it in our mug. There we go. Our butter is in the mug, but we need to microwave it. And it said for 30 seconds. So let's go put this mug in the microwave for 30 seconds. So here I am at the microwave. We're going to put it in for 30 seconds. <coughs> 30 seconds, we're gonna push three and zero, and then start. And there it goes. See, it's spinning, it's getting hotter, so it's melting the butter. So when we take it out, you won't see a cube of butter, you'll see a pool of butter. Let's see how many seconds we have left. 10, let's count back. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and it's done. Let's take it out and look. So now look. The cube is gone, and now it's liquid butter. 
close the microwave back up and we're ready for the next step. So the next step is we're going to mix all the ingredients in the mug except for the sprinkles. And the last thing we're gonna do is stir in the sprinkles. So we're gonna do the flour and the sugar and the baking powder, the vanilla, the milk, and the egg first. And then when that's all mixed up, we're gonna put in the sprinkles. So are you ready? Let's do it. So first we're gonna add a quarter cup of flour. So here's my quarter cup. And here's my giant bag of flour. So we're gonna open it up. We're gonna scoop. I usually measure it, uh, level it off in the bag. Here's my quarter cup of flour. And we're gonna put it right in the mug. Oh. There we go. So now my flour is in the mug. I don't need the flour anymore. So I'm gonna close it up and put it to this side because this side is done. It's okay if your table gets a little dirty, we'll clean it up after. The next ingredient we're going to add is an egg yolk. So the yolk is the yellow part inside the egg. So we don't want the whites. So this can be a little tricky. So if you need to ask mommy or daddy to help you, that's okay. But what I like to do is I like to get it started and then very, very carefully open it, but open it up, not into the cup. Because what I'm going to try and do is capture the yolk still in the shell and I'll have the whites go into the bowl. So now my egg is open. You can kind of see the yolk in there and the whites are coming out. So I'm gonna try and sp um, scoop the egg into the other side of the shell and get some of the whites out. Might need to shake it a little bit, there we go. And then we do it back again. There we go, some more white came out. Do it again. There we go, okay, I like the way that is. So now this side of my shell only has my egg yolk in it. There are no whites. So what I'm gonna do, I don't need this anymore, is I'm gonna put my egg yolk into the mug. There we go. The egg yolk is done. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add two tablespoons of sugar. So this is a tablespoon. It's the biggest of the smaller measuring uh, spoons. Let me get my sugar. My table's a little messy right now, but that's okay. So I'm gonna scoop two tablespoons and put them in the mug. So there's one. There's two. So now, I don't need my sugar anymore. Sugar is done. The next thing we're gonna need is milk. We need one tablespoon of milk. So just same measuring amount, but just one tablespoon. And I'm gonna do this over the mug so that in case it spills over, it doesn't go on the table. Go very slow. There we go, there's one tablespoon into the mug. milk is finished. Next, we're gonna get the vanilla and we need one teaspoon. So a teaspoon is not as big as a tablespoon, okay? One teaspoon of vanilla. I'm gonna measure out one teaspoon and pour it in the mug. There we go. Vanilla is done. Now there's one more ingredient we're gonna add before we start mixing and that is our baking powder. And we need one quarter teaspoon 
of baking powder. So here's my quarter teaspoon. This one's even smaller than the teaspoon. And we're just gonna scoop out a little bit. So there's my quarter teaspoon and into the mug it goes. Okay. So now we have everything except the sprinkles in the mug. We're gonna use our fork and we're gonna mix it all up. So we're gonna mix. Keep mixing until you get all of the dry ingredients off the sides of the cup. Okay, so see now when I pull out my fork, it's like cake batter. Hmm. So now we're gonna stir in the sprinkles. And the sprinkles, it says one teaspoon, but put in as many sprinkles as you want. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna sprinkle them in. There we go. We're gonna mix in our sprinkles. Okay. I'll take out my fork and I'll show you what it looks like in there. So here's what it looks like inside my cup now. I have a very, very tall mug, so when I cook it, technically, it might not come up to the top, but if you have a shorter mug, that's okay. So let's see what the next step is. The next step is that we're going to microwave it for 45 seconds. So let's take our mug over to the microwave and put it in for 45 seconds. Here we are again at the microwave. So we're gonna open it. We're gonna put in our mug. Close, put 45. So 45 is four, five, start. And there it goes. So it's spinning, it's cooking all the ingredients together. So this is a lot easier than using an oven. And this cake will be just for you. And in case you're wondering why this is the recipe we are making today, it is not only tasty, so we can use our sense of taste to enjoy it, but it's also my birthday. So I'm making myself a birthday cake because happy birthday to me. Let's see. Two, one, done. Let's take it out and look. Oh, it's hot. Oh, look inside. It's a cake. How cool is that? Okay, it's a little hot, so I'm gonna let it cool down. And while it's cooling, I'm gonna go clean my table. Okay, so my cake has kind of cooled down a little bit. Still might be a little hot here, so you might wanna let it cool a little more, but you know, get your fork. Use a different fork than the one you use to stir the ingredients, because that one's dirty and has cake batter on it, which has raw eggs, which you shouldn't eat. But let's give it a taste. A little scoop. There's my cake, see? Mmm, actually tastes really good. This is gonna be my breakfast this morning, guys. But, happy birthday to me. Mmm. You guys go ahead and make your own birthday cake, uh, birthday cake mug, and let me know how it tastes. I bet you you could add chocolate chips if you want. You can add different kinds of sprinkles, but you know, I just follow the recipe, but be as creative as you want and enjoy your tasty, delicious treat. Bye.